Welcome to DIY Project Party. My name is Ben. Today we're going to be going over the wiring for the DIY Harry Potter interactive wand project. So I know you guys have been asking about this. So grab yourself a drink and let's get this party started. All right, if you haven't seen my last video in the uh, DIY Harry Potter interactive wand series, be sure to check it out. I'll leave a card up there someplace so that you can watch that video first. And this video really goes into uh, detail uh, with step six and eight where I talked about wiring both the IR LED uh, light ring that I created and also wiring for everything in general. And I know a few people had questions and comments about it in the, uh, the comments for that first video. So this is sort of a, uh, a follow-up uh, to help explain those a little bit better, those steps a little bit better. So we're gonna start off with the IR LED light ring. So uh, here it is, I pulled it off of the webcam so we can get a better look at this and my uh, jank wiring on the back. Uh, so the, uh, w the first thing I did when creating this circuit is I went to this website, led.linear1.org slash led.wiz. So when you get to the site, uh, you'll be prompted to input a couple specs for the LEDs. So the source voltage for these are five. Uh, the forward voltage is 1.2 and the forward current is 30 milliamps. And these can be found on uh, the Amazon page that uh, you buy the LEDs at or the spec sheets for these IR LEDs. Uh, depending on which ones you get, these, might, these variables might be a, a little bit different. And I used uh, 18 of these LEDs in my array. So uh, I'm inputting them here. So then when I hit design my array, there's actually two solutions that this website finds, solution zero and solution one. So I'm actually using solution one, which they call a three by six array. And there's six parallel groups. And each of these groups is made up of three uh, LEDs in series, along with a resistor in series. That resistor value is 47 ohms, and that's all calculated by the website. What's really cool is down at the bottom here, you can see that uh, the array draws a current of uh, 180 milliamps uh, from the source, which means uh, that's how much your power source needs to be to power this uh, LED array. I did my own diagram here uh, with a little bit more colors and pictures. So for this project, I actually used a five volt two amp power supply, which was a cell phone charger that I had laying around. I wired all these up uh, like the uh, website told me to do. I had the specs there for the IR LEDs uh, right off of the Amazon order page, along with the 47 uh, ohm resistor. So one of the things that I did was breadboard this uh, solution. So I have my breadboard here along with my 47 ohm resistors and uh, I wired all of these black and red uh, wires to uh, the th six groups of three LEDs and they all run down this uh, heat shrink tubing here. Uh, somehow they're, they're joined up here and then into the breadboard. And then I have a couple of pigtails here that I plug into my uh, power source. So after I got all of this wired up, I popped all of these IR LEDs into my 3D printed ring, and then uh, refer back to the original video of how I put an IR filter made out of old uh, exposed film negatives uh, here, and then I, I hot glued this onto a webcam. And then this sort of all hid behind uh, a box that looked very Harry Potter-ish uh, to hide all of the, uh, this, this wiring mess that I had. So next what we're gonna talk about is how I wired up both the fountain and the lantern to the Raspberry Pi using relays. So for this, I also created a, uh, a quick uh, wiring diagram that described each of the components. So if we're looking at the wiring diagram, uh, I've laid out the power supply, the lamp, the fountain, and the uh, relay board, as well as the Raspberry Pi. So look up a, wire, a pinout for the Raspberry Pi to figure out which pins are which as you follow along here. 
So I use pin two, which is five volt ground, and I connected to that to the VCC on the four relay module. Uh, I then located pin 14, which was ground, and I connected that to the ground on the relay module. I use pin 15, uh, which is uh, designated as GPIO 22 in the software uh, for the fountain. And then I use pin 16 uh, or designated GPIO 23 in the software for the light. On the other side of the relay module, I connected the, uh, the positive uh, voltage from the power supply into the center of each of the, uh, the relays. And then I broke off again the, uh, the positive power running into each of the lamp and the fountain. So for this project, I use the normally open configuration. Uh, that way in the software, when I turned a Raspberry Pi pin on, it would turn the, uh, either the lamp or the fountain on. So as you can see uh, a little bit in the original video, what I did to wire the lamp and the uh, water fountain is I used uh, some speaker wire that I had uh, laying around and I connected uh, this side uh, to the relay and then the black side to ground. And what I did is on the battery terminal, I uh, took these ends and I wrapped them around the, uh, the battery terminals uh, inside here. Uh, and hot glued them in place. So uh, after this project, what I could do is I could disconnect everything, take the hot glue off, and I could put batteries back into uh, the, the fountain and the, the lantern and use them as they're intended. So hopefully this video gave you a little bit more insight and in how I wired all of the components for the uh, Harry Potter interactive wands, uh, especially for step six and eight. Uh, sort of walking through how I wired up the IR LED light ring that I, I made custom for this project and how I wired up the Raspberry Pi to the relay modules, to the lantern, and also to the fountain. So please comment below on this video. Uh, please ask more questions uh, about the wiring or any, any other aspect of this video because I really like hearing what you guys are doing and what areas you're getting stuck on and I'll help you as much as possible. So. Uh, I'll see you next time. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of this butterbeer.